Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So, welcome to your readings for the month of November 2018. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to all of us here in the United States. Um, happy holidays. We are approaching the holiday season, guys. The year is almost over. Where the hell did the time go? I don't know. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, if you are interested in a private reading with me, I am available for those. Um, the readings that I offer are found in the description box below, along with my email. Just go ahead and read through those and uh, pick whichever one you'd like and let me know and we can move forward. If you cannot decide, feel free to email me and we'll chat a little bit about what you would like to achieve with the reading and I will help you pick out the best format to suit your needs. Yeah. If you are in the New York City area, I recommend that you come down and see me, honey, <laughs> every Monday at Om Shanti Bookshop from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. The website for Om Shanti can be found in the description box. Uh, you can go to the website and find their number there. If you would like to book a reading in advance instead of just like showing up at that moment, you are more than welcome to do so. You can do that with me or any other reader that is available at the shop. Just give them a call. Tell them when you would like to come in, at what time, and we will get you set up. Yeah? So, true to form, I am working with the Golden Universal Tarot. Ace of Wands. The Golden Universal Tarot uh, for the readings. And then I will be closing the reading with some guidance from the Unicorn Oracle. Yeah? All right, guys. So I, I guess that's it. So I guess we should just get to it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it, guys. Hello, Libra. Welcome to your reading for the month of November 2018. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's get into it. Yeah. All right. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Librans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <laughs> Please bring forward the best messages for Libra for the month of November 2018 to serve the highest good of all involved. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Libra, so two things. One, I'm seeing yellow for you, okay? Um, and so that's talking to me about illumination for you. And, it, and, and and I feel like something, it could potentially have been during Libra season, during your season, um, but something has been illuminated for you. Now, the other thing, while I was um, preparing, doing like a little pre-shuffle, starting to channel your energies before I started recording, there were some flyers that came out. And the flyers that came out were the Ten of Wands in reverse, Justice in reverse, Justice is your card, and the Three of Swords upright. So there was some sort of heartbreak that came about. An injustice that happened either for you, Libra, or for someone that you're connecting with. Or this could just have been something that happened during Libra season um, that was a bit of an injustice um, and it caused a serious amount of heartbreak. And with the Ten of Wands, I feel like someone was not picking up their end of the bargain, not picking up the slack. Um, and that led to some sort of heartbreak. And it was an intent, it was a serious injustice, okay? Ah, uh, yeah. Libra. All right. One more shuffle for you, Libra. And then we will get started. Yeah, okay, look. Um, I'm being called to look at the bottom of the deck. You've got the Ten of Cups here, and you've got the Tower. And see, the Tower is in reverse right now, but whatever. That's just because of the way I'm shuffling, but I'm going to leave it upright. The Ten of Cups and the Tower. I'm going to do two more shuffles here, but... There, there might have been a relationship that you were involved with and there was a realization. And this is the yellow energy that I'm seeing. This is the illumination. The tower moment can be a very illuminating situation. The tower moment can be a situation when you, uh, a, a, yeah, a situation where you realize something and then you're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> um, and so there was a good amount of heartbreak associated with it. Okay. And it was probably with a romantic relationship, something that you thought was really super fulfilling, but I feel like someone just was not picking up their end of the bargain, not picking up the slack. Or, ooh, I just got, or there was a, an ending to a relationship and someone is dropping the burdens and 
because of injustice here. I just feel like the heartbreak that's happening is due to injustice, okay? One more shuffle for you, Libra, and then we'll get into it. All right. Boop. Okay, Libra, let's see what you've got here. Overall energy, you've got the Ten of Pentacles. So long-term investment, um, material wealth is what I'm hearing. Some of you could really be focused on your business, on your job, on your work. Um, someone really, or, or some of you could just be looking for a long-term investment, like really looking to put forth an effort in the long term for, for, for something in the long term. This really could be a relationship. This could be a family situation. You may be working yourself towards marriage, maybe wanting to get married at some point and are focused on doing the work that you need to do to put forth the effort over the long term. You've got the page of swords. Some of you could be watched some of you could, like, someone could be watching you. Someone may have their eye on you. You may have your eye on someone else. And here's that commitment I was talking about here. The Hierophant. Okay. Um, and so definitely there's the marriage that I was talking about. So some of you really may be marriage-oriented. Okay. Um, you may be interested in someone that you feel like you might want to marry in the future. Or you're just in that energy of, I want to get married, and so I'm going to do what I need to do to put forth that effort and that investment. So you could be researching, learning something new in order to up your chances of, you know, being finding a commitment and a marriage. And then you have the Queen of Swords underneath the deck. And so this could be you here, Libra. And this is the energy of, now you could be divorced. Okay, so with, um, with everything that was coming out in like the flyers, um, especially with justice in reverse. And now we have the Hierophant, which is talking about a marriage for some of you. Some of you could be divorced currently and are looking for a new marriage. Um, uh, or some of you could be moving towards a divorce. Okay. And I really feel like in that sense, especially since, you know, the Ten of Cups and the Tower was, call was calling out to me for you guys. And now you have the Ten of Pentacles. Um... I really feel like, and then with the Ten of Wands, the only thing we don't have yet that hasn't made an appearance for you in your energies is the Ten of Swords. We'll see if that comes out. But um, I really feel like somebody was not picking up the slack. Someone was just dumping all of the responsibilities onto someone else or just not keeping up their end of the bargain. And so, so, and so someone felt overburdened and said, fuck that, I'm not doing it. That's exactly what this Queen of Swords is saying. Fuck that. <laughs> Woo, all right. Good on ya. First set of current, and I'm sorry, surrounding energies for the first half of November, you got, wow. Death just keeps on coming up. And I think it was Taurus? Maybe it was Gemini, I don't know. But in another sign, I, I can't remember now, but in another reading for the Zodiacs, death came out in this same position. So this is talking about the transformation. You, Someone really could be divorcing here. There really could be a divorce coming for some of you. But also, this could be speaking to Scorpio season, which we will be in for most of November. We'll be, we'll be going into Sagittarius season towards the end of November, okay? Um... And also, so in, in relation to that, Scorpio season may have helped you, ilu helped illuminate, some, illuminate something for you. Scorpio season could have been that catalyst that brought the tower down or brought the tower moment into play, okay? But either way, there's a transformation happening, Libra. Uh, death is coupled with... There's the Ten of Swords. So you officially have... All four tens in your reading now. Of course, the first ten, the ten of wands, isn't on camera. That was a flyer that came out before I started shooting. But here we go. Someone was not keeping up their end of the bargain. And thus, we have death. A transformation. A change. The end of a relationship. The end of a situation. The end of a marriage. But also, what this is saying here with the Ten of Swords is, it sucks, it's painful, it's shitty, 
but the worst is behind you. And now you can transform out of it. Second set of surrounding energies for the first half of your month, the Nine of Cups. Well, that's interesting. But also, this is all in service of your wish fulfillment. Like you're literally clearing the way for your wish fulfillment ultimately, okay? Nine of Cups is coupled with, yes, what did I just say? You're clearing the way to manifest your wish fulfillment with the Magician and the Nine of Cups. Booyah! Good on you, Libra. That's fantastic. Your challenge for the first half of the month, judgment, yeah, resurrection, change. And I really feel like this is why you had a tower moment because the universe was is like calling out to you saying, hey, hey, look at some, look at what's going on here. And now you have a chance to, I'm hearing you have a chance to reconcile, but that really could be reconciliation with yourself. Should you be coming out of a marriage or a long-term relationship, whatever. Rebirth. Definitely rebirth here. The challenge is now being reborn, being resurrected after this transformation with death, okay? Judgment is coupled with, yeah, the fool. Rebirth, regeneration, a new start, a new cycle, a new path. This is the challenge for the first half of the month. And I really want to say the challenge here, the biggest part of the challenge here is aligning with this, okay? Coming out of the destruction and the death and the transformation that you're starting your month with, you're going into the month with, yeah? Your potential outcome for the first half of the month, you got the Four of Pentacles, Standing your ground. I really feel like if you are going through a divorce here, you're really going to have to stand your ground. Defending yourself. Defending your belongings. Defending your place. Defending what it is you are rightly entitled to, maybe. In a divorce settlement. Um, also, though, I feel like some of you could be holding on to dear life, even though you have this transformation, even though you have this judgment and... A, a, an opportunity to align with a new cycle. Some of you might just be holding on to the old. Four of Pentacles is coupled with the Three of Cups. Well, that's good. Now, some of you might be holding on to a situation because of a social setting. Because it's socially acceptable. You might be holding on to the situation for the party atmosphere. But also, what this is saying conversely is um, you standing your ground and holding your space, holding your position in what you truly believe and what you truly want will help you achieve, achieve some sort of victory or uh, celebration. There is celebration in standing up for yourself, <clears throat> in a sense. The first set of current of surrounding energies for the second half of your month, you got ooh, the King of Cups. So someone might have their <clears throat> excuse me, someone might have their eye on you. Someone might be in love with you. You might be in love with someone else too. Hmm. Or is this an emotionally manipulative narcissistic person that you're working your way away from? Ooh. The King of Cups is coupled with, ooh, the Two of Wands. So this really could be, honestly, this really could be, for all intents and purposes, this could be that person that you're trying to move away from that's kind of, mani uh, that's emotionally manipulative, manipulative, maybe narcissistic. Or at the same time, if you are, if you have feelings for someone, if you're in love with someone or if someone's in love with you, there's a decision that needs to be made, Okay. That could be a decision to move forward. Now, you don't have to be in love with someone, but you could have some, you probably have some pretty deep feelings, or at least you just feel the connection. You're aware of the connection and you're not necessarily hiding from it. Okay? Second set of surrounding energies for the second half of your month, you've got the Page of Wands. So this is rediscovery. This is also could be a passionate message coming in from someone. Potentially this person here that is represented by the King of Cups, if this is not you, okay? Possibly the person that needs to make a decision could be coming forward with a message here because pages are messengers, but also the Page of Wands for me is very much about self-discovery.
And then this really could be whoever needs to make this decision here. This could be the depiction of that person. Okay, now they've made that decision, so they're holding that wand. Okay, page of wands is coupled with. Ooh, the Six of Cups. So you definitely have someone here that is resonating with you on a soulmate level. It also could be someone from your past coming in with like a passionate, hot, and fiery message. This isn't Knight of Wands energy, it's Page of Wands energy. But it's pro this is probably fairly innocent, okay? There also could be an energy of rediscovery through childhood regression, um, doing some healing from the past, that sort of thing. Your challenge for the second half of the month, you've got, ah, yep, the Eight of Cups, walking away. So maybe you're having trouble deciding whether or not you should walk away from this narcissistic King of Cups. This could be a Scorpio. Because the King of Cups does depict Scorpio, does speak to Scorpio. And you've got Death here, which is the Scorpio card on the very beginning of the reading. And I forget, I forget which reading it was, but Scorpio came out, the de Death card came out in that position, and then Scorpio came out again like this here. I'm so sorry, guys. I wish I remember which one that was, because I would say you might want to go watch that reading. But alas, I have forgotten. <laughs> But if the messages really are for you, I believe you'll make your way there. But your challenge for the second half of the month really could be walking away from this person that just kind of like dropped the ball. For those of you that I was talking to um, that are resonating with like some sort of end of a relationship, like with, with the Three of Swords, um, the Ten of Wands in reverse, and Justice in reverse. Whatever that injustice was, you really could be having trouble walking away from the situation. The Eight of Cups is coupled with the Lovers. Could be a Gemini. But this is your challenge. And if you're really having trouble walking away from this narcissistic King of Cups here, this emotional manipulator, the challenge is choosing yourself, which would be the virtue in the situation, versus the vice, which would be staying with this person that's manipulating you, manipulating the situation, right? Your potential outcome for the second half of the month, you've got whoop, the hanged man. So I guess you're not really making all that many decisions right now. Okay, you may find yourself in a precarious situation here, precarious position, but it's leading you towards enlightenment. It's leading you towards an understanding of the situation a deeper understanding of the situation. And that, I really feel like the hanged man is mirroring the energy of the Page of Swords, which is about learning something new, investigating. So maybe you're really looking at the situation here before you make any chance choices of walking away, okay? But either way, someone is faced with needing to walk away in the second half of the month with the Eight of Cups and the Lovers, all right? The Hanged Man is coupled with, yeah, the Five of Swords. You really could be dealing with a Gemini, um, because in the Gemini reading, I, the Five of Swords came out, and I was picking up that it was the Gemini that was exhibiting that Five of Swords, the shit starter pettiness energy here. But this is, this is enlightenment through pettiness. This is analyzing, looking at the situation and under, seeing the light, seeing the light through this, the destruction, the destructive energy, the one-upmanship, okay? This is a really, and especially with the Queen of Swords underneath the deck here for you, this is an energy of someone just really not putting up with the drama. Like, I'm done with the bullshit here, is what the Queen of Swords says. By the end of the month, you may have reached that enlightenment that you need surrounding the pettiness to finally walk away, okay? Let's get into your oracle guidance here, Libra, for the month of November. Libra, November 2018. Libra. Oops. Okay. 
Let's see what we've got here for you, Libra. My, my. Well, look at that. Underneath the deck, you have possibility. Raise your standards. Elevate your expectations. You have unlimited potential. Mm -hmm. Then you've got beloved. Prepare for your life partner. Oh, Lord, you've got a lot of cards here. Prepare for your life partner. Romance is returning to your relationship. Believe you are lovable. So some of you really could be clearing space for a new romantic partner, uh, a counterpart of sorts. Okay. You've got growth. Seek out a mentor or a guide. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. And you have that energy already because you've got the page of swords here. Okay. Next, you have anger. Safely express your anger. Use anger as a positive force. Honor all of your emotions as sacred. So whatever anger or any other sort of emotions that you're feeling surrounding to the situation, use them in a constructive way to propel you forward instead of fighting back, arguing, that kind of thing, okay? You also have miracles. Have faith that your miracle is on its way. Your prayers have been answered. Surrender the how. Beautiful. And finally, you have celebration. A positive outcome is assured. Celebrate your success. Enjoy your achievements. All in all, that feels really good. And you have celebration here too with the Three of Cups, which is coupled with the Four of Pentacles. So I really feel like if you guys maintain your position on the situation and stand your ground, you will have cause to celebrate. Especially against someone that's been emotionally manipulative, narcissistic, sociop sociopaths, that kind of thing. All right, Libra. So there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. I'm wishing you guys so much love and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of December. And also I would like to wish all of us here in the United States a very happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. Take care. Mwah. Bye.